Why'd you pick Ohio State? Just great tradition. Uh, I got a family legacy here. I wanted to come home and just be a part of the, like I said, the tradition here. It's awesome. Great path to take. And I wanted to be a part of it. Uh, what do you think you have to prove over the next couple, three weeks? I mean, uh, you had to pick up the system pretty quick, I would guess. How, how tough has that been? And then, number two, what do you want to kind of show people over the next three weeks, four weeks? Uh, just coming in, I mean, I got you got to be confident. You got to come in and compete every day, and you got to uh, take the time and learn the offense and get in the film room as much as you can throughout the summer, which we did. And coming into camp, keep doing it and go out there every single day with confidence. How much different is this offense from the one you were in? Uh, it's there's a few similar things, and then there's a few things that obviously I've never seen. So then that's what makes it challenging, and that's what makes it. There's parts that I already know. So. Yeah. Gunner, can you can you maybe just take us through a little bit the decision when you're maybe deciding maybe I'm going to go someplace other than Kentucky. Maybe I'm looking to, to try somewhere different, and then the idea that Ohio State might be that opportunity. Just what was what was that process like for you? Uh, well, I went through uh, spring ball at Kentucky, like you guys know. Uh, just wanted to change it up, I guess. See my opportunity somewhere else, so I went to the portal, and Ohio State came to me, and I mean that's awesome. That's Biggest, biggest school there can be. So I came, come here, and it's great, great to be a part of it. When you decide to go into the portal, though, is Ohio State already in the back of your mind? Not necessarily. Honestly, I had no idea. Uh, just what me and uh, Coach Stoops at Kentucky thought was just to see what's out there. And at the time, and then I got in touch with Ohio State, and bam, there it was. And like I said, it's it's been awesome to come back here. How quickly did Ohio State get in touch with you? Uh, Probably a day right after I was in the portal, just then soon, yep. Obviously, there were other schools you could have gone to where maybe you'd have a more immediate chance to get on the field and be the starter right away. Here you come in, you've got to contend with Justin Fields, you've got to compete. What made you decide to come here instead of maybe another school where you would have been more likely to be a starter right away? Uh, like I said, just the, the family tradition there is and uh, how my dad played here. I've had a cousin play here uncle that coached here and just being a part of that uh, legacy and tradition there is at Ohio State. It's awesome. and can further my future and get a master's program from Ohio State. It's awesome. So. What are you majoring in here? Uh, I'm doing sports coaching in my master's. So. Hey, Gunner, I think the general assumption from everybody is that Justin's going to win the job. Was it I know that all the things you just said about legacy but like when you are going into a situation where that is the assumption do you come in accepting that do you come in thinking that they're wrong? I mean, what is the thought process when, you know? Yeah, just, you no, know, I get it. I get it. I understand. Yeah. I mean, at Kentucky, that was how I, I went. You just got to compete every single day, no matter what. Uh, I mean, that's when I left there, and I came here, and I'm still competing. So I never have that mentality of, like, I'm giving up. So you always got to come out every practice and compete, show the coaches what you got, show the team what you got, and go out there and do the best you can. And the coaches will decide who the best guy is, and we'll roll with it. But I think that.